Ken of this video is to take a look at the B-17 Bombers engine cowl flap system. The B-17s are powered by four Curtis Wright Cyclone 1820-97 engines. The couple characteristics of the engines, they each produce 1200 horsepower. There are nine cylinders and they are air cooled. During their operation, the engines produce a lot of heat and the air coming into this inlet is going to be the cooling medium for the engines. Each one of the engine cylinders has uh, cooling fans and that helps dissipate the, dissipate the heat and bleed the heat off from the cylinders. The cylinders have a maximum temperature of about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and there's an optimal range of temperature that uh, to maintain the efficiency of the engine. So uh, sometimes additional airflow is needed and that's where these cow flaps come in. So let's take a look at some definitions of the structure. So this is called an inlet fairing. They call it a NACA fairing. It's a low drag fairing. Um, we have the cow flaps and these are hinged articulating panels. And then we have the engine nacelle back here. So if you wanna bring more airflow into this engine, remember that the B-17's crews anywhere between 24 and 30,000 feet. The air temperature is pretty cool, but the air density is low. Um, the operational true airspeed of the B-17 in combat crews is about 240 miles an hour. So if we ignore the propellers influence on that air, the air is coming into this, we can think of it as a large ram air scoop at about 240 miles an hour, hits those cooling fans, and then it's going to uh, exhaust out of the gap between the cowl flaps and the engine nacelle. So the, there's a lot of moving parts here, so there's a lot of heat generated. So the pilot has the ability to move these cowl flaps open or closed. It's a hydraulic system. And if we take a look at the uh, cowl flap controls in the flight deck, he's going to be using this panel down here. So each one of these knobs is uh, linked to an engine and the knobs have three positions. There's a closed position, an open position, and a lock position. So all these are in the lock position right now. So if these cowl flaps were flush against this surface or in the closed position and you wanted to open them, you would just rotate this knob towards this open position and these cow flaps would start to slowly open. It takes two to five seconds for them to go from completely closed and articulated to a completely open position. If you wanna stop them midstream, then all you would do is, since we're in the, uh, you know, the knobs turn towards the open position is you would just bring them back in the lock position and then they'll stop at whatever detent uh, you want. And if individual engines, the temperature can be controlled by uh, just using, using these knobs here. So again, the air comes through this uh, big NACA inlet, uh, the heat is bled off, and then the air exhausts um, past the engine itself, scrubs past the surface.